So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find your Google Place ID for both local business with an address and businesses that are service area businesses, meaning they don't have an address listed. And those are particularly tricky to, to find the Google Place ID for. Um, if it's a local business where the business address is listed and there's a PIN, it's pretty straightforward. If it's a service area business where there's no address listed, and it's serving a particular region that tends to be a lot more difficult and I'm going to show you a really cool trick at the end as far as how to find the Google Place ID for a service area business. So the first thing is use the Place ID Finder tool. It's provided through the Google Maps platform and so you can just take the URL from up here developers.google.com forward slash maps you know all this. You can just Google put into Google uh, place ID finder and it'll pull up this tool you'll be able to find it pretty easily um, and then all you do is you just type the business name in so so if we do Missoula SEO geek then you can find the business here and it will show you the Google place ID so that's pretty straightforward and you can do that for any business that has a location however if we want to find that other business Austin Auto Glass we type that in and nothing is showing up. There's one in Texas, but the business we're looking for is actually in Colorado. The reason is this is based off the address that's listed. So if it's a service area business, it's you're not going to be able to find the place ID through this tool. And it is extremely frustrating. <laughs> Trust me, it took me a long time to figure out this, this trick that I'm about to show you. And it's a total game changer. So here is the service area business we're going to look at. It's called Austin Auto Glass. And all we want to do is when you have the uh, Google Maps listing pulled up here, click on the map portion of the listing. And then you'll see this uh, bar pop up on the left side and then the map and then this red line shows the area that this business services, right? But there's no address listed, so you can't find the Google Place ID with this tool. However, if you copy the first four letters of this Google Place ID, for whatever reason, it seems to be the same for every business. Now, this might just be in the United States. I haven't checked outside of the United States, but um, copy that over. And then all you do is right click on anywhere in this white space here. Just right click and click View Page Source. That's going to bring up the source code, which is like nearly impossible to sift through. But then, if you click Command F and use this Finder feature, where it's going to search for these first four letters, put those first four letters in, and boom, there's the Google Place ID right there for this service area business, Austin Auto Glass. So then you can copy this Google Place ID and use it, you know, to collect reviews or whatever you're going to use the Google Place ID for there's a, a, a number of different reasons for pulling that that information out so once you have that then you can go ahead and use it for whatever you need it for so again it's pretty straightforward if it's a business with an address you can just type go to uh, the Google Maps platform use the Place ID finder type the business name in and it'll show you the Google Place ID right here if it's a service area business, you're not going to be able to use this tool to find the place ID. So all you all you do is click on the listing, right click on this white area, click view page source, command F, at least on a Mac, and then you can enter that and find the place ID here. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you have questions about, just drop them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to get to them there. And until next time, take care.